the whale is back. DeepSeek has released DeepSeek OCR. This is a 3 billion parameter OCR model and they have devised a technique of compressing images into smaller set of vision tokens. 10x smaller while still achieving 97% accuracy even at 20x compression retains around 60% accuracy. Can generate 200k plus pages per day on a single A140G. Everybody is going crazy on X with respect to this particular model. So what we can do in this video is let's test out this model on a collab notebook and then let's come back uh, to discuss a little bit about the architecture of this model and the performance. So this model is available on Hugging Face. So it's a 3 billion parameter model. It has got an MIT license, which means that you can use for commercial purposes. So let's try out this particular model. So what I've done is that I've created a collab notebook over here, right? So let's go into that. So this is a L4 instance. What I observed is that this model is supposed to take 6 GB of RAM. It's a 3 billion parameter model, but it takes close to some 14 GB of GPU RAM. Okay. So what you need to do over here is that you need to install all these necessary libraries, right? So these requirements are specified in their GitHub. Uh, you can go there and look at the requirements. Uh, so I installed all these libraries. Then I need to install flash attention also, this particular version. So this is specified over here, the version of flash attention and all the libraries, right? Uh, then what I need to do is that I have to instantiate the model like this. The model name is DeepSeek uh, AI DeepSeek OCR tokenizer model. So I need to have my hugging face access tokens in secrets over here and it will ask for access. So once you give access, the model is downloaded and it's instantiated. So it is as simple as this, right? Auto tokenizer from pre-trained for the tokenizer from for the model as well as, and then you push the model to GPU. Okay. Then all you have to do is that this is a prompt to convert the image to markdown, the image input file and where the output path should be written. And then you can do your model dot inference by passing the tokenizer prompt and all those things over here. Right. So that is what I've done over here. The very first image which I tried out was uh, the alphabet uh, image. So let me open it over here. Okay. So let me open this in a new tab. It open over here. So I wanted to try out OCR on this particular image to see how it, well it does. Okay. So this is a tabular image. So I, I did the OCR and I got the markdown output. Okay. And when I render the markdown output, you can see over here, this is how it has rendered this particular image, right? If you see over here, total assets, you have dollars, 450, 256, dollars, 475, 374. Let's go to total assets over here. See, dollars, 450, 256, dollars, 475, 374. So it does the layout uh, properly. Uh, it extracts the uh, values properly over here and it is showing the values properly. Okay, so if you go down over here, you have this liabilities and stockholders equity. So you can also visualize how it has done this particular image. Uh, so, you know, if you see, this is how it has generated the layout and this layout is what it has parsed and it is giving the output. So it is considering this as two tables, assets, liabilities and stockholder uh, thing, equity. And then it is, you know, parsing all the values over here and the accuracy is quite good over here. I don't see any mistakes over here. It has, um, you know, parsed it very well. I did the same image with Paddle OCR VL and there were issues with, you know, uh, these kind of numbers, the dollars was missing and some kind of HTML content was present over here. But in this case, it's done an excellent job of OCR over here while maintaining the tabular structure and you are getting that output in Markdown, right? So it has done a very good job with respect to this image. Okay. Next image, which I wanted to try out was this particular image. So if you look at, these are some approved medications. These are imaging medications and you have, you know, column kind of data, uh, you know, format or layout over here. And there are various medicines and there are images over here. So let's see how it has done this particular image. If you look at the output over here, it is doing it like this. Emerging medications, semaglutide, right, right, right. So where does that come? Let us look at. Okay, so it is taking this particular column first, right, or this row. And let's look at the, this thing. Okay, approved medications. Okay, it is pulling out that. And then it is going for the second uh, row okay it is giving all these medications i believe let me see if it is missing out something okay i'm going to survey to diet semaglutide uh, okay 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 so here i think it has missed out on this particular part i don't see this particular part i'm seeing this 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 these things are there if i look at it yeah so yeah so it is actually missed out on this particular part 
but it is giving all these things emerging indications okay upload this thing okay um so obesity chronic kidney type 2 i think it is giving this part okay this part is giving obesity type 2 diabetes emerging indications is it present or not present let's look at it emerging indications mm -hmm. somehow i don't see that yeah so a bit of mixed results over here it misses this part it misses this part out but it extracts these images i've seen that okay so this was for this image slightly complex image right so i wanted to try out how this model will perform on this particular image i've seen some vlms do a very good job of you know extracting this region some ocrs also do a good job of extracting it some ocrs have issues with you know this chart and this chart and then they do kind of mix up uh, mix up the layout so i gave this particular image as input and said like convert to markdown uh it actually did a conversion but then it left out all the images basically and it pulled out all the text if you see over here it has pulled out all the text right uh, so in this particular image it is pulling out this now people on are going blind it is pulling out this text this text this text but it is not doing anything over here so then i tried with a different prompt because there are a couple of prompts which were given uh, so the document to markdown did not work properly then i said describe this image in detail here if you look at it it uh, kind of uh, went crazy it said a dark background with a mountain in the center the mountain range is made up of five peaks with the highest peak labeled as mountain there is a river running down labeled as river with the island being labeled as island i don't know what happened over here it made a mess because this prompt did not work over here properly describe them but this is one of the prompts which they had given okay then i said parse the figure here it says that the image is a graphical representation with a dark background featuring a mountain range still out in the lower right corner uh the text is predominantly white and yellow some elements in green the top of the image has a large bold text or oh, no people on monjar are going blind so there it is telling properly benefits associated each accompanied by a green bar indicating the percentage of people who benefit from it the benefits listed are weight lossness uh, blood sugar hp1 ac reduction here it is done a good job of explaining this image where it is explained this benefits low risk factors it is describing this mountain it is describing every part of this image properly okay so here with this prompt it is giving some kind of description of the image in a slightly better way than this prompt the last image which i wanted to try out was this handwritten image i wanted to see how it performs on handwritten image so let's look into it um so i gave this handwritten image and i said convert document to markdown so if you see over here it says that you know rights in the indian chapter 2 rights in the indian constitution chapter 2 constitution so it has come out properly uh let's look at the results of how it looks like this is how it looks like bill of rights a list of rights so it has done a good job here then here it says the national norms committee has handed a bill of rights for as far as back in 1928 here is where if you look at the original image uh you will see that it is actually the motilal nehru committee okay so this becomes some national committee over here so that's a bit of hallucination which is national norms committee so if you look at uh, this particular image it is motilalu ne uh, nehru committee it's not national norms committee so in handwritten document i am seeing some kind of hallucination over here if you look at the layout of this particular thing it has done the layout properly okay it has you know pulled out this as a paragraph this as a paragraph and this as set as a full paragraph right but some kind of hallucination is present over here so this is a issue with all vlm kind of models which where i have seen some kind of hallucination being present so these were some of the samples which i tried with this particular model and i find the results satisfactory except that if you have some complex images i see it going um, you know the layouts going for a toss some kind of hallucinations which are present in some images okay and this image description is really poor describe this image in detail this prompt is not giving any kind of results it is giving very poor results okay now let's look at the model architecture so the architecture of deep seek ocr is this deep seek ocr consists of a deep encoder and a deep seek 3 billion mixture of uh, experts decoder so the input is the image which is converted into n16 into 16 patches which is given to sam okay Uh, so basically this deep encoder consists of a segment anything model and you know, which is dominated by window attention a clip for knowledge with dense global attention and a 16 token compressor that bridges between them 
So from this you get your visual uh, tokens, which are then fed to a deep seek three billion mixture of experts model, along with the prompt, which actually generates your text output. So this is a high level explanation of the architecture of this particular model. So if you look at this particular post from Tio Texas, who says that you know this particular model is massively unexpected uptake uh, update from deep seek. It's a powerful high compression mixture of experts OCR model. In production, this can generate 33 million pages of data per day for LLMs, VLMs using 20 nodes, uh, 8 A100 for TG. They want all the tokens. You are welcome to have some too. So what they are saying is that this has got an interesting data pipeline. In the end, they beat DOTS OCR with 20x fewer vision tokens. This suggests near OCR on commodity, near instant OCR on commodity hardware. In the future, it may be possible to achieve nearly 10x lossless context compression through text to image approaches okay so deep seek ocr in deep parsing mode can also recognize chemical formulas with chemical documents convert them to smiles format okay so they, it can do a lot of scientific document ocr as well so this is an example which was present in the paper of an input image with chemicals and other things which can be converted into you know smiles format so it can do all these things. It is not a OCR only model. In general, it is a very tiny and cheap deep seek mixture of experts vision language model. So it can do a lot of things which vision language models can, you know, do. That is what they are saying. Describe this image in the detail. But the description we tried, it was very poor. Okay. Identify all the objects and output them in bounding boxes. So it can do various visual language tasks as well. That is what they are saying. Okay. So the, uh, these findings suggest promising directions for future applications such as implementing optical processing for dialogue histories beyond K rounds in multi-turn conversations to achieve 10x compression efficiency. So what they're saying is that it is possible that your visual language models will perform better than say giving text to LLMs. Instead, if you give images of text to LLMs, to VLMs, visual language models, they can perform better than your large language models also. So that is what was present somewhere in their paper okay so they have released this paper as well so you can check out this particular paper right so what they are saying over here is that uh, you know current la large language models face significant computational challenges when processing long textual context due to quadratic scaling with sequence length so they are exploring a potential solution over here leveraging visual modality as an efficient compression medium for textual information a single image containing document text can represent rich information using substantially fewer tokens than the equivalent digital text, suggesting that optical compression through vision tokens could achieve much higher compression ratios. So based on this insight is what they have actually gone and created this particular model where they say that this particular method achieves 96% OCR decoding precision at 9 to 10x text compression. 90% at 10 to 12x compression and 60% at 20x compression on various benchmarks featuring diverse document layouts. This the results demonstrate that compact models can effectively learn to decode compressed visual representation, suggesting that larger LLMs could readily acquire similar capabilities through appropriate pre-training design. So that is what they are, you know, they are uh, uh, what you call claiming like a future direction for LLMs. Okay. So this is very interesting uh, model release from um, DeepSeek. So you can also go and check out DeepSeek OCR. I'll be sharing this particular collab notebook in the description of the video. So you can check it out. Um, the collab demo, you can check it out with your images. This has MIT license, which means that you can use it for commercial purposes. Okay. And it is quite fast in terms of OCR performance as well. Hope this video is useful. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.